you can end up spending 20 to 30k just on SAS tools alone as you're scaling your team. And in order to avoid the same mistakes that we've done at Flow Ninja and in the process save thousands of dollars per year, uh, in this video I'll showcase the only 7 tools that are allowed at our studio. A little bit more about me and who the heck am I to talk about using only 7 tools for your studio. I'm Urosh and I'm the founder and CEO of Flow Ninja. And currently we're helping thousands of enterprise uh, clients kind of launch big marketing websites, maintain them, constantly improve them. But also we're the ones actually creating SaaS tools for clients and we even have our own SaaS tool in-house. So like it's actually kind of killing our business in, in telling you be careful when actually spending money on SaaS. But it's just the thing that needs to be said and like a SaaS tool needs to be really, really, really good for anyone to actually pay for it and to include it in their process licenses specifically when you start paying for 20 licenses like 40 licenses like at our team like I think we're 40 to 45 licenses per month and it can be pretty scary to onboard a new SaaS tool and add 1000 bucks per, per month just by adding that SaaS tool itself so uh, let's jump straight into the tools the first one and basically our whole agency is run on the on the tool itself is Notion and actually, I mean, like, uh, we've spent many years uh, in trying to find the best possible project management solution. And later on, we're also going to showcase you like our own PM tool that connects directly to Notion. But more of that, um, more on that later. In general, we've tried, I know, Asana, Toggle, Jira, like many other tools out there. And it seems like all of them are great, like even ClickUp, but they be become too complex and they give you too many features and you just end up being lost. Nobody actually uses any of the features. You need something to be changed and to be adjusted to your process but you get the uh, project management platform out of the box and like there are some agencies who are using different project management tools but for us we just realized we we're creating a bigger mess so it, we ended up switching completely to notion and like i want to go ahead and kind of give you the like three to four tips on how to actually set up notion successfully the first thing is like i you can show you can see it here is you can set up your company board in notion so we have everything from our newsletter, from our core policies, time and health, career and growth, miscellaneous, everything like that is actually added to our Notion board. So whoever comes to the company, whoever can ask any of the questions, Notion becomes a great hub where we have all of our company policies, all of our company processes, SOPs and stuff like that in a single place. If we're onboarding somebody, we have a process to, that somebody has to go through when they're going through the onboarding, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So just because of that, it's great. Okay, I have a project management platform which is going to handle my onboarding of the team members. But then also they're going to use the same platform later on to do the project management. Then the next thing is like we were making mistakes that we were creating a lot of databases. So basically you need to go ahead and just check out our setup here where we have uh, like studio projects and studio tasks. And then with that, we also have like team uh, CMS and everything else is just basically different views of the same databases. So just try to make sure to create, let's say five to 10 databases that are gonna be the core of your project management kind of process and to reference those uh, kind of databases everywhere you can and just to create different views with that because we've created projects, tasks, team and I, I think those are the four, like three to four main databases. And then we're using the same database to connect to invoicing, to connect to CRM, et cetera, et cetera. But it's important that you leverage those same CMSs and kind of continue working with that. Then the next tip is going to be try using some of the templates. And actually, I don't think you're going to be able to run your business by just purchasing one of these templates, like to be fully transparent. But for me, it was easier to buy a few of these templates and save me a lot of time just to see what's possible in Notion. And by seeing, okay, this is possible, this is possible, this is possible, together with our operations team, we were able to create a system that's gonna work with us in a week or so and completely transition everything to Notion. And then the final thing for Notion is gonna be try making everything in Notion. Don't use Google Docs after you've transitioned to Notion. Don't use uh, Google Sheets or try to use them as least as possible. Uh, like you can use tools like Notion to charts to create charts from Notion databases. Just try to make sure that everything is gonna be in Notion and everything is gonna be organized. In our case, we have a client, the client has meetings, it has tasks, it has like all of the notes, invoices and stuff like that. Everything is connected into a single place. So it's pretty easy to find it and that you can create different views for that pretty easily. Then the next tool, like in all of the craziness of uh, artificial intelligence is the only tool that we actually uh, ended up paying for. We might use ChatGPT and stuff like that, but we're not paying for it. Like the free version is just as sufficient for us. This is one of the tools we're using like just for our project management team. And like that's one of the tips, just try adding it to people 
people who actually need it, not for every single one of uh, one of the team members. So you can save uh, kind of a lot of money on that front. But it actually records all of the meetings, so your team can be more focused on the client and it can be focused on delivering kind of value on the meeting. And then after the meeting, it's gonna give you a meeting transcript and stuff like that. For this specific meeting, for some reason, like you can see, sometimes it gets bugged out. But the great thing is gonna be you're gonna have a recorded meeting. You're gonna see positive, negative, uh, neutral uh, kind of sentiments in the call, metrics. Here, it's usually gonna give you an outline that you can use then and paste it to ChatGPT and kind of do all sorts of stuff based on that and make the project management uh, job a lot more people-oriented instead of just a lot more like note-taking and whatever. So it's streamlined our processes. We can also learn from, from each other, like the sales teams can kind of, okay, I'm gonna listen to your sales calls, I'm gonna listen to your sales calls and then like uh, them two can actually kind of discuss between them and kind of become better professionals in the end. The next app on the list is gonna be Clockify and like it's a pretty straightforward uh, kind of time tracking software that you can use in order to make sure uh, to see kind of how much time are you actually spending on your projects like many different times like I didn't want to actually do this just because I, I trust my team like I know that they're working and they're kind of doing their job but we didn't have the data on kind of how much time are we actually spending on the project and kind of can we actually compare that to the scope of work that we actually build and like did we make any mistakes in the process and also additionally it's gonna give Give you a lot more insights on kind of how your business is structured like we realize okay we're spending too much time on operations like which is what we are currently gonna hopefully gonna be resolving that kind of we spend a lot more time actually doing the work instead of doing the operations like themselves so like that's gonna be the first part kind of okay let's remove meetings let's remove many different things and like crush them like maybe on every single monday we have meetings and everything else is just kind of working time so that can be one of the ways and kind of many different ways can be kind of that you're spending a lot of time as your agency grows uh, on projects like you can see here which are maybe not so important currently or like that are not being built so that you can always kind of react and kind of make sure that if you're running a webflow agency or any other agency on that sort that you can realize okay i need to fix this here quickly uh, in order to make sure that i'm gonna cash flow positive and that everything is working as expected the next tool is actually webflow and even though i didn't want to include it in the list because okay we're paying this for for our website to host it for our website there are many different use cases where we're actually using webflow to streamline our agency's processes and together with make which is the next tool we're using it allows us to uh, kind of operate on a much better level and to create systems and processes where people were usually involved so for example by leveraging webflow make and notion we're able to create a CRM by leveraging the exact, the exact same process. We're creating a, a hiring platform. Then we're creating a, a process to send invoices, etc., etc. So just because of that, like Webflow has been a great tool set of ours, and it actually allowed us to create even like the six-star platform you're seeing here. Like this is a demo overview where we're syncing with Webflow, Make, uh, like and like with Notion API. We're able to sync all of the data from Notion, and like our clients are able to see everything inside of the dashboard. Like this is like the Adami account nobody actually has. 1000 hours left with us but like it's a great way to actually use webflow in some of the cases where we would need a project manager to add up hours to create notion date tables to make sure how we're going to display that etc etc and just by having webflow as, a, as our tool set we're able to streamline our agency and create our own internal SaaS tools which are going to cost us like fraction of the cost like this is going to cost us like 50 bucks per month instead of paying a custom project management platform additionally on, on top of notion which might cost like i don't know uh, 12 bucks per person or something similar we mentioned make like uh, additionally like on top of webflow we're actually using webflow and make to connect webflow to notion to connect it to different apis etc etc and there are also many different way, uh, tools you can use you can use the, the webflow direct kind of logic kind of just to do this you can use wise then like many other platforms to do something like that like this but like so far we're using make we might switch it in the future but it, it allowed us to get a little bit more of a technical overview versus zapier who is just out of the box working so that we can create more custom processes so in this case it might be zapier for you to automate things or like if you like to get a little bit more technical you can use tools like wise the make or like webflow logic or stuff like that to do everything directly in webflow and to make sure that everything directly in webflow actually works then the next tool is pandadoc and i mean like we've used some different uh, kind of invoicing softwares and whatever like and in the end if we realize okay we're paying a lot of money like we're getting a lot of back so we just decided okay let's use pandadoc we're gonna create our scope of work our invoices our contracts look really really pretty so like that our experience is top-notch at every single point whenever we're sending something 
and the base based off of this we can see the data did the, act, did the client actually see the invoice how much how long did the, they see the invoice for we can customize invoices a lot because a lot of our other invoicing softwares were out of the box and like you just have features that you have so that's why we decided okay we use pandadoc for invoices couple work and many other documents like that and it allows us a lot more data to see kind of that we can make better decisions based on the data that how are people actually seeing our scope of work documents and then the final tool in, in everything is going to be slack and g suite and even though i don't like actually using slack a lot like it's not my favorite tool just because everybody expects to get a response straight away and like the messages don't have any like long context when you start using slack it's just what everybody uses and like it's, it's the industry standard maybe in the future we're going to integrate something like this into our platform so that we can have better communication but it's a tool we're using on a day-to-day -day basis to communicate internally with our team on an async basis like sync basis etc etc and also with our clients and then additionally like with G Suite we're just getting a lot of data on Google Drive so that we can kind of have data there and we're also getting custom emails and stuff like that and that's it like basically we might try adding um, a SaaS tool here and there but usually it gets removed just to make sure that we are as lean as possible as an agency in terms of costs we'll see maybe in like in in a month or two or two or like or like in a year or two we even kind of are gonna have less of these SaaS tools and we're gonna try to include more of these features into our own uh, project management platform but like i guess the time will tell but if you want to learn more about maybe webflow because it's also one of our core tool sets you can view a video somewhere here where we're talking about uh, top plugins you can add to webflow to make webflow even more powerful and like make is one of them but like we have many more of those uh, added there so that you can explore webflow and you can maybe include that in your agency services if you're not on webflow yet or like if you're on webflow to see how you can streamline your services by leveraging webflow